have a live look at Uptown from our, our tower camera. It's going to be a warm start to our work week, but as we look ahead, there will be a noticeable drop in humidity, and you can see the lights from Uptown tonight. And it's actually it's kind of nice, kind of yeah. kind of kind of serene as as we begin to start the work week. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman here. And Andrew, before uh, we we get there, we have the the rain coming in for yeah. Tuesday too, right? Yeah. So we still have a few scattered showers, mm -hmm. an isolated thunderstorm yeah. right now. We had some. We could hear it here oh, at right, the studio. Today, yeah. But we're drying up. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't getting yeah. bad as last yeah. night. We'll see though that cold front come through. And Derek, that's really where we are really going to get our first Great. taste of fall. It is going to feel wonderful later on in the weekends so with those Tuesday showers. That's really what we're going to have to pay for. But there is going to be a big payoff for the Carolinas again as we get towards the end of the week. Right now, walking out the door, Independence Boulevard, 70 degrees right now. Pretty quiet. We did have those showers roll through. There was a period of some moderate and heavy rain rolling through the central Carolinas and some are dealing with it right now. Right now, look over the next five days. Next chance for showers again Tuesday night into Wednesday here might stick around. For your Wednesday morning commute, but overall it's not going to be a huge deal. But this front though is going to give us our first true taste of fall humidity. We're going to see the dew points fall down into the low 50s, potentially even into the upper 40s for some. Once you get under 55, it is amazing to be outside, and that's really what's going to be moving in starting Tuesday night and really clearing on out by the time we get to the second half of your Wednesday. Watch the muggy meter here. It truly falls off the floor. Once you get dew points under 50, that's when you want to spend basically all time outside across the Carolinas. Even with our temperatures, we're going to be trending below average. Once we get towards really the second half of the week, we'll see those highs of the upper 70s right around the 80 degree mark. Current conditions, there's some of those scattered showers moving into basically upstate South Carolina right now. Also to the south and east of Albemarle, right around to the south of Troy here. We're seeing some locally heavy rain. Doesn't stick around for much longer than about 20 minutes or so. And then we dry out and then for the most part should be done with the wet weather this evening. Part of a stationary frontal boundary we've been dealing with here over the past few days. Also, though, did bring in some cooler weather for the Carolinas. Next frontal boundary, though, making its way out onto the plains, and that one is really going to take a sledgehammer to the mugginess across the Carolinas, because until we get rid of the humidity, even with high temperatures in the middle 80s, it still feels like summer across the Carolinas, even though the thermometer is telling you it's feeling a little bit more like fall out there. 70 right now in Charlotte, 68 as we get up to Greensboro, lower 60s up in the mountains and places like Boone and Jefferson where they did have some of the shower activity a little bit earlier. Future cast overnight heading into your Monday morning again. Should be fine. No issues. You head out the door tomorrow. Should be completely dry really as we go through your Monday. Maybe an isolated shower, but really not going to see much. You will see the temperatures though start to rebound back up into the upper 80s. It's only going to be a few degrees above where we should be for this time of year. We head into your Monday night here. Not going to be seeing all that much. Maybe an isolated shower early on your Tuesday morning, but really I'm going to be watching a little bit later on in the day. Once we head into the afternoons, that front really starts to push towards the region. We start to see a little bit more shower activity, but overall it's not going to be a major deal as we go through the second half of your Tuesday into your Tuesday evening. So really about Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning is going to be the best chance for a little bit more wet weather across the Carolinas. Latest on Hurricane Lee, it has reattained major hurricane status, packing winds of 120 miles an hour. It's finally been able to beat off some of that wind shear it has been contending with over the past couple of days. Latest track, these are some of our various hurricane models that we use here. Close past to Bermuda, I will say though, eastern New England is going to have to watch the track of Lee very closely here. They could see some impacts and basically the official forecast from the National Hurricane uh, Center reflects as much. We're going to see a turn off to the north and basically how far west it does go before we see that northerly turn is really going to determine those impacts here once we get to New England and Atlantic Canada. Temperatures over the next 12 hours down in the mid to upper 60s here, so not too bad out there. AC Bill got a little bit less mid to upper 60s across the Sand Hills, middle 60s up into the Piedmont, foothills, lower 60s up in the mountains. That's where you get down into the middle 50s out at the park tomorrow again. Might see an isolated shower in the afternoon, but really for the most part, it's just going to be a little bit on the warmer side as we see those temperatures getting up into the mid to upper 80s. High temperatures, mid 80s here across the central Carolinas in your pinpoint seven day forecast. Late showers Tuesday into Wednesday and then absolutely wonderful towards the end of the week, Derek.